channel. User joined your channel. <laughs> Who cares? I say do it anyway. <laughs> What's up, hey, guys? Dave. We How's want to buy a boon of plus one go, for the go, entire go, party go. for the entire night. <laughs> <laughs> Instantly, yeah, right kidding. now, before combat starts. <laughs> You guys want to do that? You're more than welcome to. You have no, a, you we're have not going to do that. We're just, we're just trying to screw. <laughs> we don't want a meta. We don't want a meta game. <laughs> you're not meta gaming. You're basically just canceling out the. Bo you're not canceling out the bonus. There will just be a lot more hits tonight. <laughs> I don't know. You know, oh, no. plus one is pretty pretty cool. So. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of, in my opinion, one of the weaker ones to buy the enemy, but. You know, whatever floats the boat, I guess. I I kind of like the the plus one. I should I should raise it to plus five, huh? I can raise it I'll to raise plus it five plus. if you guys want. If if you want to make it, you know, have more bang for for the player's buck, uh, I'll raise it up to, to plus five for the monsters. For the monsters. <laughs> you guys doing all right tonight? Hey, wake up. Yep, doing good. Yep. We already have our sex rotation in line already. One person missing because someone came over or something. I think. So this is a uh, this is y'all's last D and D Essentials game tonight. We're going to uh, we're going to start making care. We're, next week we're going to start making characters uh, on stream and start showing people how to make the characters. We're going to get you guys ready and you guys are going to start learning the mechanics of Fifth Edition because I mean guys we only got really we only got three weeks left until. The beginner box set comes out, and then uh, we get to see the entire Can't first wait. module. Yeah, it's going to be great. I I'm really looking for it. I'm really looking forward to it. And Mike, during the interview last night, Mike gave out a lot of good information that he hasn't done on any of the the Q and A's or any of the other interviews that I've actually read with him. It's just unfortunate that there was a, a sound glitch last night. I mean, it's just it's like it you said. Yeah, it about was it. fate. No one's supposed to know it. Yeah. Well, it's like a Sandman will say, and it's just Murphy's Law, man. I mean, it's just whatever could go wrong. The, the worst case scenario actually happened. So uh, something just happened between between Skype and you know the output on on Twitch. So which which is unfortunate. But I had a lot of actually I had a, a couple other DMs say that uh, they use Skype for their Roll Twenty, and a lot of times that happens when the players call in. So. If that happens again, you know, we just need to hang the call up and reconnect and it should fix it automatically. So yeah, it's it's pretty cool. So you know that a lot of people have there were a couple of jerks yesterday too, but uh, it's to be expected. Some yeah. some people just thought, miserable yep, in life the internet. you know, carry you know, carry on to online. So uh yeah, no, syndrome I, I do make my own campaigns as well. We're on your Twitch stream at one point. So <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, there's there's quite a few people. All right, so we are we're here in in the tower. You guys have you guys have find uh you guys have found a couple people that are really not too uh in good graces with you guys. So you guys want to go ahead and introduce your characters and we'll do the recap and we'll start. We'll continue. Okay. <clears throat> Highway Pop, yes, this last, is a, so uh, a recording else. night. And Syndrome, yes, I do create my um, own campaigns. I'll go first. I'm Storm. I'm playing Terran, a half elf druid with his faithful wolf companion. Turret. Next week will be 100% uh, mine. Actually, everything will be 100% mine and until 5th edition comes this out. Is, uh, Faye or Sandman, I'm playing Caladrin, the. Uh, Sacrificing Paladin, and uh, he's a Dragonborn, and we're about to kick ass tonight. Um, I'm an Isis, I'm playing Amon Matt, the young, virile, uh, elf thief rogue who has a pension for boobs and butts. Hey, I'm Robert, the Dwarven Sun Cleric, uh, named Rons. Uh, yeah, that's me. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I am Kadojo. I am playing the illustrious Kevlar Eldrin. 
he is on a mission to seek magical items to send back home. And I will be doing a review this week. Last time on D&D. As the group finally figured out the trap room while the Eldrin was being raped by the wolf, they encountered some undead. While cutting left and right, they noticed four sarcophagus four sarcophaguses in the room, some of them with false bottoms. One of the sarcophagus was a mummy with a magical sword called Frostmourne in it. Frostmourne. And they took the crown that belonged to it. Guess who's turning into the next list? Lich King. After taking an extended rest, one of the sarcophagus was emanating voices. After the rest, they decide to investigate this. The rogue, em- Eamon, went down and discovered two people in there, not knowing for sure who they were. The rest, he came back up, got the rest of the group, and then started heading down. Two of, three of the five group members are down there now, and they did confirm that their targets, Terravis and Mor- Morgas, are down there. Now, tonight's action, we'll see who will live, who will die, who will love, who will be raped. Whoa. Wow. wow. I almost we shot a tear for that. Rape, so we know who that is. When did we have the Lich King pop out with Frostmourne? Eh? I don't remember I don't, that part. I, I, made a jo- <laughs> I, I, made, I made a joke about that last night. When you said the sword had a frosty thing about it. And I shall call you Frostmourne. <laughs> yeah, you can call that sword whatever you want. Yeah, I just found it I'm really excited about certain 5e. I, I really am. I, I'm really excited, especially everything that I found out uh, last night. Uh, it even really makes me more excited about the game. So, all right. So I'm gonna put you guys back on uh, on the map of where you're actually at. Well, as I get done spilling everything. Debra, <clears throat> oh. All right, so we have. Hello? Everyone here? Hello? Uh, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. Oh, I heard a hello. I'm here. I just heard a hello. Well, it just got quiet really Same quick. On. I was checking. Uh, I was switching maps and getting you guys to where you're at, so. That's why everything was so quiet, I think. All right, so you guys are, are in this room, and uh, where we left off last week, uh, Aim and Isis, and I believe uh, Zantag, or Taryn, I'm sorry, I'm used to saying Zantag, but uh, you, both of you came down into this room, and as the paladin started entering the room, because I know he was climbing down next, I believe, uh, that's when you actually found Travis and Morgath, uh, they knew that you were here. They came around. Uh, one Travis is uh, here, which actually I'm gonna let me let me raise this uh, percentage of a little bit more so everybody can see what's going on here. Map's pretty small, so all right. So you see to the south, you see Travis, the mage dwarf that that actually is you've been employed to now several times. Uh, back in in Fallcrest, and also your your ex party member Morgath, or sometimes uh, he's called Morgas. So uh, he has also appeared, and behind the statue you you see some kind of a a, a green mist swirling behind this statue. Now this is where we've left off. So uh, I'm going to let you guys have everybody have one action. And then after that, we will go ahead and, and roll initiative because there's no element of surprise. I'm just going to let so you guys have one action. Our um, Caladrin and I, we're still like up top, right? Correct. Yeah, I, I believe Caladrin was climbing down next. Okay. Ah, and don't no. forget, we have the Wheel of Misfortune again tonight, too. That would definitely be my uh, my free move is to uh, climb down the ladder. Okay. Did now, I... does Tarvex still have the uh, arrow that had light cast yeah, on he... it in his mouth? 
Yeah, he still has the arrow in his mouth. <laughs> Cervix. Yeah, you climb down this, uh... I'll climb stay down up the there ladder. for a second. It's actually pretty dark down here for you, Cal. I, okay. I know you can see a little bit, but, uh... I, I believe you might have some light on you already, don't you? Yeah, yeah I, I have Tony's light on my, yes. uh... No, I'm um, the Great Axe. Yeah, wasn't that from... I, I believe that was from Kevord, wasn't it? Yes, uh, it was. I think so. Yeah. It was, because mine's still on the arrow up here. Okay, yeah, and that's in, a, in Cervix's mouth, so... Well, I'm sorry, oh, Tervix. Wow. Actually, it's sitting on the floor. It's not in his mouth. Well, there's no way for me to literally attach the oh, okay. arrow to him, so... Whenever you're ready, I'll just move the the arrow wherever you drop it. Well, so, um, Turvix will probably be climbing down now. <laughs> Roll twenty is pretty awesome. Roll twenty can no. do a lot of stuff, but it can't let me attach to these other tokens yet. Maybe one. Will day. I? Will I be able to shift out of the way of the ladder so he can come down? Go get him, Turvix. Now you basically uh, spent your entire move getting down the ladder. So, uh, but. Okay. You know, Turvix and, and Rons, they can, they can, you know, Rons could probably get to the top of the ladder from where he's at now. All right, so oh, we'll just cool. go right on down the line. So, uh, Eamon, what are you going to do for your one action? Uh, I'm just, I'm going to prepare to fire. I'm going to prepare to attack. All right, all right. So you're, <laughs> so you're drawing you, your bow. Nice. No, oh, yeah. No, it, well, he's there's there's cover the the statue so you can you can barely see you can just barely see Traven okay. or Travis I'm sorry or Morgath so all right so you get your you get your weapon pulled so you won't have to do that next round uh, what about you Kevord what are you doing you getting flaming hands ready <laughs> flaming <laughs> burning hands I'm sorry I want to go ahead and recast light on top of the statue so that way it can light sure. up the whole room okay so the I'll go ahead and yeah let's just go ahead and let me go to the map layer real quick and I'll put light <laughs> We're on the here. <laughs> and I believe it isn't that a hundred foot light as well was that the light that was on the arrow no, no. on um, Kevlord yeah. not Kevlord Keldron Keldron yeah uh, basically, okay. the the light disappears off him and uh, magically appears on the statue now. Uh, the light fills a target space in all squares within four squares of it. Okay. Yeah, it's the entire room is fully lit now, so it won't be a problem. We have light. All right. Let there be light. So, Taryn, what are you doing? Um. Just pulling out my scimitar, and the wolf's gonna probably Me too, wait Zerker. his turn to come for the down creatures. The <laughs> all right, all right. So now we're at a you point. You can recall him. Yeah, you you can get cervix down here. He'll he'll be able to get done next round. So, all right. So we're gonna go ahead and roll initiative. And as everybody gets down, you can start to see. I'm gonna draw on the map real quick. So right around here, you start. Everyone starts to see a Not sort everyone. of like a a swirling mist. So you, everyone here, from around here, because obviously you can't see what is basically behind here. Now I didn't put a dy uh, a line there for dynamic lighting. I, I I should, but it just makes the map look really really bad. But anyways, you guys can't see anything past this. But you can see around here. There's sort of like a like a green necrotic mist, and and especially you, Kev Ward, you you would definitely notice that it that it has a a necrotic feel to it. Is it behind the statue or just around the statue? Uh, it's on the sides of the statue. It looks like it's protruding from the from the the opposite side of the statue from where you're at. Okay. Uh, and also, let's see, as Taryn, you, you start to hear a 
and also let's see Ron's is not going to because he's not here but Amon uh, I'm gonna actually I'm gonna do some I'm gonna send a couple tells out real quick so just bear with me one second because I you know it's like I said I'm I'm gonna be sending more tells on perception checks so just gonna be a new thing that I'm doing which I I think is pretty good Beautiful. <laughs> Sending out tells, right? Yeah. I have a feeling that it's um it's not just these two. Alright. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this other fluff that I have hand drawn here now. My my you know, I am William Shakespeare, and I do have some pretty pretty nice artistical talent, as you can see. Yeah, I guess he was known for being an artist. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Shakespeare had real... Didn't he write? He was a writer. He was, mm -hmm. yeah, he was a writer, playwright. I'm just trying to, you know... A lot of people, if I, if I mention a writer, some people may not know who it is, but, you know, it's an artist. It's, it's all the arts... Oh, artsy fartsy. Maybe talking of Michelangelo or something. Pierre Cardin. Pierre Kardashian. Oh, we don't know. I mean, hell, we don't care. That's an Ninja Kardashian. Turtle, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Did you watch that when you were a kid? Uh, no, but I, I Actually, watched you're... that. I watched that whenever my kids were kids. Uh, I was going to say, you're probably what, in your 20s when that came out? At least, I know I watched it. Don't don't tell me at least fifties. Don't don't tell me that, same man. Come on, <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right, <clears throat> tells are out. You guys uh, know a little bit. Let's go ahead and roll initiative, and everybody can go ahead and and roll initiative. E even you, Ron's up there. So. All right, so I have to do a uh, a couple initiatives. Wow, these are some. Oh come on! <laughs> Four. I think he just with a roll like that. I think he just went to the toilet. And I'll just, be right, right back, back, guys. I have to take a major dump. Goes over some reason, the mine rolled off, twice. Hey, at least for once, I'm not going first. That's all right. Kadeji is walking around with a hard on. Hey now. He rolled He's a nice three, 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 three rolls. David, my first roll was a thirteen. Uh, thirteen. You got a twenty in here, a twenty-two. No, look up a little. For some reason, Caldron made two rolls. No. Yeah, for some reason it did it twice. Okay. That's weird. Everybody else looks, uh, Taryn looks like it's right. Yeah, that's good. Any, anybody watch uh, the soccer game today? England's Which now one? out of the tournament, too? Holy cow, man. A couple of the big players are out. Spain's going home already. England? Wow, it's, it's pretty cool. Year of the underdogs, Dave. Year it is. of the underdogs. It is. All right, so Eamon, you're up first. Having that high initiative bonus really helps. So, what uh, are you Antarctica going to do? Maybe Antarctica will win. <laughs> yeah, they are yeah, definitely they are not in the tournament. I am going to shift and attack. Uh, what the heck? heck? I can shift up to two, attack. I have uh, combat advantage for first strike. Against um, more gas. 
<laughs> Morgaths. Absolutely, you can you can attack, and basically I'm just using a Morgaths character sheet. So, did you level him up? I, uh, no, I did not, because uh, he was never leveled up, and no, I didn't level him up. And then, uh, because of my escape artist, when I am finished, I can shift back two spaces. All right, so the armor class of Morgath is a 20. So your attack uh, looks like you rolled a 24, 24 which is a which hit. 24 versus AC. So you did a total of, holy crap, 25, 25. damage to Morgath. That hurt Morgath. Uh, that, that put Morgath at a severe bloodied status. Good. One shot. He goes, I thought we were friends! It's better have my money. That was for the horse. <laughs> that was for the horse. And now I'm going to give you one for the road, mother effer. <laughs> All right, Taryn, you're up now. Man, I lost poor Morgath. He's, because of that horse. He's, it, Morgath is, is going to be cooked after this, guys. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, <laughs> the wolf has to come down. I can't move him because I can't see him. Uh, Daddy's gotcha. I gotcha. There he goes. He's uh, in the square adjacent to you. Uh, you can put him in a square. Yeah, actually, it's where he'll be. So. And he can't move any other anymore, right? Uh, we'll say that it took a uh, double movement to get down the ladder. It's basically what I say, twenty foot descent. So no, he's pretty much down there, where he's at now. So that pretty much just means I only have movement and nothing else. Uh, you have movement, uh, you can do whatever you want. But the wolf's done his movement. Oh, so... I Plus can you, still can put the, you can put the aura up on him, you can put, you know, he, he's yeah, gonna have his aura up anyway, so... Because remember what we were talking about, it, it's it's not gonna... There's gonna be no charge for you right. to put that aura on, because it's just automatically gonna have it on by default. So even with the um, Terran, I still have my uh, standard with him then. Sure, you do. You have your minor as well. Okay. And your movement. I mean, you didn't move; just the wolf moved. So you, your movement is independent anyway. So here we go. Morgath is going down. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. And I can't wait for Morgath to go down because there's a uh, a nice little uh, surprise waiting for him. Just gotta check my numbers on this one real fast. How'd you like that Grell encounter last night? That was interesting. Yeah, Grells are pretty pretty powerful in 4e, especially with the the modified fourth oh, edition dear monster Lord. errata. Oh, look at there! We have a one. I'm going to go ahead and use 100 oh, EXP oh, from myself. Gonna get bound. And uh, I want you to go ahead and uh, why don't you take a roll on the Wheel of Misfortune. Take a spin on it, buddy. Give me a 1D100. A 58. So let's see. What happens to you is uh, you have lost the grip of your weapon. You drop your weapon and you are dazed until the end of your next turn. So that's not too bad. That's one of the... That's lighter the, treatments. Yeah, that, that is one of the lighter treatments. So you are pretty lucky. So you are dazed. You have no weapon. And that's going to be about it for you. What is with the skull and crossbones in 7? I have no clue. Somebody put that on there. I, I didn't put that on there. I know I didn't. <laughs> Alright, so you are dazed. Morgath just kind of, as, as Morgath is is kind of gurgling up blood from an arrow lodged in his throat box. Uh, he's just, he just kind of chuckles at you and says, <coughs> You were always a horrible fighter, Terran. He doesn't know Terran, though. <laughs> All right. So... And I would be like, Wait, how the hell do you even know me? I don't know you. <coughs> <coughs> I know everything. And he's just coughing and gurgling up more blood. All right, so now it is uh, it's Travis's turn, and Travis moves up one square, uh, moves one more square up, and Travis casts Burning Hands. 
Oh, kidding me. No, I'm not, actually. <laughs> he does cast Burning Hands. Alright, so I'm going to pull out my, my trusty old 5x5 five five measurements here. That's 4. That's 5. And let's go ahead and change this color to red. I had one already out here. A 5 and a 3, but... Alright, I'm going to go ahead and set it here. So... I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm going to set it here. So you're lucky, Travis, as you... Uh, over to your right hand side, all of a sudden you hear a, a massive fiery explosion uh, to your to your right hand side as you're starting to, to lean over to, to pick up your weapon. So I'm going to go ahead and do some attack rolls uh, with with Travis here. Yes, this is versus reflex, if I remember correctly, it guys. Is. So check your reflex stats. Are you starting with the wolf? I am starting with the wolf. And, uh, wow, look at that. The first one is a pure miss. What was the number, though? Uh, a nine. Okay, yeah, definitely a pure miss. <laughs> All right, second roll is uh, an 11 against uh, Kev Ward, which is uh, probably a miss. miss. Wow, I am rolling horrible. Well, we all take Keep half damage anyway with misses, so. Are you sure that I couldn't make it down the stairs? It's kind of boring up here. <laughs> Well, yeah, sure. Actually, seeing that it's a, a cube effect, your ass is hanging down into the room. I'm gonna hit you with the uh, the flaming hands as well. So, yeah. So no, I, no, no, I'm I'm up here. I'm up here. Well, I planned on giving you an attack anyway because your ass is hanging out of the hole and you're climbing down the ladder. So, uh, as for you, Cal, it's a 27 versus reflex, which I believe that is a of hit. Of course, move. That's definitely a hit. <laughs> okay. Now for aim and Isis. Uh, ooh, that is a crit, a natural 20. And last but not least, Mr. Ass Cheeks hanging down out of the hole. Uh, that is a 26 versus reflex. So, Because how, <laughs> how it goes in 4E is it's partial a 5 by 5 by 5. So it, it's 5 up and down, and 5 across, and 5 straight up as well. So it's basically 25 cubic feet, which is pretty massive. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and do a, a, a roll for this damage. And uh, it, it is the modified 4E monster errata damage. And let, let's see how it compares to Kev Wards. I want to see if it's basically the same, if it if it's comparable. Which, uh, it's exactly the same. Although, uh, there's going to be a little bit more damage because of the, the, the bonuses from Kev Ward. I mean, the, the bonuses from Travis. So, oh, okay, very horrible roll. So, we have Rons and Cal and Amon Isis. You, I'm sorry, Cal and Rons, you both take 9 damage. The Wolf and Kev Ward you take four damage. Now you for the critical Rons, uh, you're gonna take a total of 18 for the critical. <clears throat> um, you mean somebody else, right? Uh, you were coming... Eamon uh, took, the, was, took, Eamon the, took crit. the crit. Okay, Eamon, I'm sorry about that. Eamon, you took the critical, so you take 18. Rons, you got hit for normal damage, so you take nine. So, and that sorry would be about the that. same as me. Correct. Yep, that's it. All right, so a fire explosion happens. Uh, Ron's basically, I'm sorry, Travis basically tells you that you're all going to die. Well, I'm bloodied already. A likely story. Hmm. Eamon, you're bloodied. Anybody else bloodied? Nope. Okay. Well, that's it for Travis. I believe that is... I also need to do one more thing. I need to do a uh, an aura for him, but it's it's not anything that negates you guys or anything. So mm. Whoops. 